Hello, welcome to Unity Worship. Today we want to pray for and uplift our associates in medical education, physician residency, and medical staff, and the physicians working for medical staff and associates as well. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer before we begin. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful and grateful for all your blessings. Today, we want to uplift our associates that are working in the medical education department, our physician residents as well, dear Lord. They have a great task to do. We place them in your hands, dear Lord, that they can learn as much as they need to, that they can be the healers that they need to be, dear Lord, that they, you give them patience, you give them perseverance, and you give them empathy, dear Lord. We also pray for our associates in the medical staff office, physicians as well, dear Lord. We uplift them. We thank you for all you do. We thank them for all they do for us and our patients in this hospital, dear Lord. Once again, we ask your blessing over this unity worship service. We thank you for everything. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Worship with us. When we can't find our way, you lead us. When our way leads us to a dead end, you create others because you are our way maker. Let's worship him. Yeah. 
our way maker. Today we have one of our own, um, Pat Stone, and a lot of us know her. And for those of you that don't know her yet, she's our patient care executive. And we're so happy to have her here. Um, we're so happy that she accepted our invitation to be here today. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate you being here. Hello, everybody. My name is Pat Stone, and I'm the Chief Nursing Officer here at White Memorial. Today, I'd like to start our devotion by reading from Matthew 10, 1 through 8. Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the name of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the tax collector. James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or enter any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Matthew 10, 8. This must have been quite the mission for Jesus' disciples. Jesus sent his 12 closest followers into the towns of Judea to announce the good news that God's kingdom was near. They were also to show what life in God's kingdom looked like by bringing healing. As followers of Christ, they were to show how the gospel reverses the social, psychological, spiritual, and physical effects of sin in our world. If you have ever spent time with a patient nearing the end of life, you may reflect how Christians who work in the healing professions have a unique perspective on their labor. Christians approach their work as co-laborers with God. Christian physicians, nurses, and other care providers know that God uses them to help bring healing into this broken world. When people are ill or need to have surgery, we often pray for them. Sometimes God intervenes with amazing healing, as in biblical times. But most often, God uses the many men and women who work with him to bring health and healing. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, lead us to serve you as agents of health and healing in this world and here at White Memorial. Thank you for all who serve you by bringing healing today. Help each of us to radiate the healing power of the gospel 
in our daily lives. Through your Son, amen. White Memorial family, it was a blessing that you were able to join us today. We thank you for joining us. And before you go, I'm going to read Numbers 6, 24 through 26. White Memorial family, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. And White Memorial family, may the Lord turn his face towards you. And most importantly, may the Lord give you peace. May you walk away with peace today. Thank you.